Good afternoon guys, welcome to another video. Something a little bit different this time, as I'm sure you can see over my shoulder there. I'm at a gravel pit today. I'm on the tar farm complex at Linear. I've come out to do a little bit of carp fishing today with my friend James. We've not seen each other for absolutely ages, so we've come out to do a little bit of fishing next to each other. That was the plan. We've booked pegs five and six on Lake 8 at the tar farm complex. However, we've got here um, before the guys left who were here previous to us and um, the guy in peg six which was the more fancied swim by both me James and myself um, has had three out his mate in peg five hasn't had a bite <laughs> 48 hours so we were thinking about tossing a coin but then what we decided what we fancy doing because we're having a bit of a social as well catch up we're not seeing each other for absolutely ages is we're going to double up in peg six fish the margin to the right here that's the plan at the moment. Things could change, start seeing fish, etc., etc. But yeah, we're uh, looking forward to this. Not done this for since last closed season. Uh, and even then it was mostly tench fishing with a little bit of car fishing at night. The bites, the chap who was in here was saying the bites have been coming at night as well. So maybe that we have to wait till after dark before we get any bites. But uh, yeah, something a bit different. And as I say, something which uh, very much looking forward to. Right. Time to uh, get the stuff out of the car. James is just starting to set up over here, as you can see. Time to get the stuff out of the, out of the car. We'll get set up and I'll run you through exactly what we're doing. So guys, we're all set up. The uh, The weather's doing what it was supposed to do. As you can see, we've got a nice ripple coming into this end, which is uh, which is why we wanted to come here, really. It's, uh, that was the plan. It's all the weather was coming in this way and thought, yeah. Hopefully, that will mean the fish will push up here. That was the plan. Now we've decided to double up in the same swim, as I think I mentioned earlier, because the, uh, the guy who was in here was picking them off this this far margin here. There's no swims all along this far side or along there. And the guy was uh, had three fish uh, from along that reed line over there, and there's an outlet over there. So we we're going to flick a coin, and we decided, well, we come for social anyway, so let's double up. So we double up in here, two rods each. Oh, at the moment, I've got a rod out on a zig, um, about seven or eight foot zig, which is about half depth out there. Um, I've got another rod out on a spinner rig, a pink pop-up out towards, uh, probably won't be able to very, see it very easily on the camera, but there's a bit of an outlet over there. And then James is fishing against this reed line over here with solid bags. That's currently what we're doing. I think we're going to stick with that for now. We don't want to put too many lines through the water because the swim next to us, which we've got booked, obviously is free. The swim next to that is also free. So we kind of got this end of the lake to ourselves. So we do want to put loads and loads of lines across the water. I'm going to have a walk around here and bait up just from the bank a little bit later. The guy who was in here as well said it was all night, night bites, bites after dark. So we're not too fussed at the moment what's happening. That, uh, that nothing's happening, I should say. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed, we have some fish to show you. So guys, a bit of an update. It's, uh, it's about five o'clock now. Just reset all the rods. James has recast his solid bags over towards that reed line over there. That other side. Put a bit of uh, spod mix over the top. I've got one rod out by an inlet over there. And the other two rods I've actually got on zigs. Uh, this one's just settling, I just cast it in. Um, one at six foot, one at eight foot, which are sort of mid-water-ish. But there's a sort of, it's about sort of 12, 15 foot in here and there's a, it goes off deep in the middle there. So I'm just sort of fishing on the edge of there, hedging my bets a bit. The wind's still pushing up here, as you can see. The neutral is not particularly warm wind. It's a southerly, southwesterly, but not particularly warm. We're just hoping that it has the fish up here. That's the plan. But uh, yeah, I'm, I've got, as I say, I've got two on zigs now and one. Just on a, uh, it's in a helicopter rig because there's a bit of weed out there. Uh, I've got the top bead pushed up about a foot and uh, it's a little bit soft so i've got a, a ronnie rig on a 
on a helicopter. Over there, as I say, I've just been around and put a little bit of bait around it as well, but not too much. Just a mix of sort of hemp, a little bit of sweet corn, some pellets in it as well, a few broken boilies. My favourite hot, hot fish boilies, of course. <laughs> I use for barbel fishing. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Something will happen during the night. We're going to leave this now. I think we're going to just leave it to settle. Um, as I mentioned, the next two swims are... Uh, uh, clear there's eight swims on here there's two over the other side which obviously not particularly affecting us um and then six down this side and the first three on this end on this side i should say on the far end are taken i think mr swan is maybe yeah, yeah it's a swan isn't it <laughs> sorry the swan we get some liners off the swan <laughs> Uh, yeah, the first three takes are really this half of the lake. We're the only ones in it. So I'm going to keep nice and quiet now as far as thrashing the water goes. It's a bit of a cast, certainly for me. It's right at the edge of my uh, my gear and talent <laughs> to get, get, get my bait out of there. It's taken me half a dozen goes to get it in. I did a bit of squirreling as well. Got it up in the tree. But uh, went around and got it back. <laughs> well, I've actually got it where I want it now. So fingers crossed something will happen, as I say, in the night for at least one of us we'll be able to... We had to put a fish on the bank. <laughs> Might need the muggy door line. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. this bobbin just shot straight up. Did it? Yeah, look, bobbin's. I didn't hear it, I was messing with the door. <laughs> yeah, it shot straight up and it's, it's gone forwards as well. Bit of a liner maybe. Yeah, yeah it's really slack this is. I'm just winding and winding. Yeah, I'm on. Well, guys, we're in. We really dropped back. I think I think I am anyway. I felt something nod. It's coming in very easy. Yeah, something. Something on. I knew something. I just saw the line was getting blacker and blacker. I don't even know where the up, is it? I don't think so. Not a coot, is it? God, my heart's going. <laughs> got caught for a long time. <laughs> I'll tell you, I knew, I knew that was the spot out there. You're going to have to get a bit more bait on that. Coming in very easy, aren't you? Is it a tent or something? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> could be a little cut and kind of take the other line out. You want me to move that? No, nah, you'll be alright, I think. I say, it's not fighting very hard. Just a little cut. Any little one? That's pretty zig. He's got me a zig line. It is a tent, isn't it? It's a tent. <laughs> Going all this way and you ended up catching bloody <laughs> Well guys, can you believe it? <laughs> we come, we go tent fishing, we don't catch them. <laughs> we, we come carp fishing, we caught a tench. He's, uh, he's suddenly going crazy. <laughs> oh, that's alright, I'll sort him out, don't worry mate. I'll knit one pearl one, we'll get him through. It's a nice fish. He's put up a decent scrap. Put that one down there right the way. We'll get him in. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. He's a killer. No, it's a decent tent. Great stuff. Well, guys, how's about that? 
not quite what we came for, but uh, I'll never complain about catching a tench ever. That's fantastic. Not great on uh, three and a half pound rods, but uh, it's a fish. Proves the rig's working, the bait's working, so that's fantastic. And that's a lovely fish as well. Really pleased with that. <laughs> it's just starting to get dark, it's raining, as you can probably tell as well, but uh, yeah, over the moon with that. Fantastic. Right, let's get him back. Get his breath back. Cracking fish. Gone. <laughs> Wonderful. Feels like it's quite weird. Ah! Unless it's just... I thought it'd come off then. I think it's off. I think it's off. It feels like I've got a ball of weed on at the moment. Well guys, we're... Uh, we're in, as you probably heard. Or thought I was. Which just... Ah, now... Now it feels like something's kicking. Oh, yeah, <laughs> getting some kicking. <laughs> Guys, got you right around there, look. Absolute one tone, aren't we? Thanks, mate. Brilliant. Near pardon me, near Lina, but nice fish. I tell you what, that's a PB as well. I think <laughs> I don't catch many carp, as you uh, you guys will probably realise from the channel. I think my last carp I had was about five years ago from the river. Uh, it was seventeen, but that looks bigger than that to me. <laughs> oh, 
nice foot cold. Well guys, there we are, 20 pound 14 of lovely linear mirror carp from, from linear fisheries. Fantastic, what a way to celebrate video number 400. Absolutely wonderful. Certainly didn't mind being woken up at one o'clock in the morning with that, uh, that one toner. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. <sighs> Wonderful. Well, that fish has gone back safely and a uh, lovely wake up call that was at 1 a.m. That's absolutely fantastic. The uh, the other rod was beeping away earlier, as I mentioned, and, and it was the other one that screamed off, but <laughs> I've not recast my two rods. I've just left the one in now and uh, James has got his two in. So fingers crossed for a little bit more action during the night. I've got my left hand rod just fished over a little bit of bait and James has got his two solid bags on the one I had was uh, on a solid bag as well so uh, fingers crossed James has some more action during the night or perhaps we both do who knows but uh, you'll see that should it happen if not I'll see you in the morning Good morning guys, the morning after the night before. Nothing else happened last night to our surprise. Very, very surprised one of James's rods didn't bust off, or my remaining rod. But uh, nothing at all, that's really why I didn't cast out again. Didn't want to disturb the water. Um, but yeah, nothing at all. It was very, very quiet, not had any beeps or anything on any of the rods. It's very strange, left it till now it's about half six, seven o'clock. Some fish have been showing on the on the far side over there. Well, there's dead reeds. Uh, so I've just chucked a solid bag over there. But uh, we're going to fish till 11. It's about seven now, so we've got about four hours left. I think we're going to leave the rods as they are, leave them in situ. So as not to disturb it, because there's quite a lot of fish been showing over here. So we don't really want to be thrashing the water. Just in the hope that we can uh, we can pick another fish up before we go. Fingers crossed. So, guys, as you can probably see, the sun's come out. We've just seen a couple of carp cruising about in this corner, so I think I'm going to bring this rod in that's been out all night and done nothing and put a zig out. I think. about 12 foot out there if we put a zig about eight foot we're in the sort of top third let's see if we can uh, get bonus fish well guys that is it well packed away last rod in but it's been uh, very very quiet since that since that carp at 1am we've uh, we've not had hardly a beep perhaps I think I had a liner on this rod earlier on this morning but uh, aside from that it's been very quiet I was quite surprised I know the lake's been fishing hard the water's only uh, did the water temperature it's only 11.6 so it's not exactly warm but after we had that carp and we saw him show this morning I really did think some more will be on the cards, but unfortunately not, as I say. Never mind, thoroughly enjoyed that. Absolutely fantastic. Really nice to have a catch up with James. Really glad we, 
we doubled up in this swim as well. So it's chucked it down most of the night and uh, we certainly wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to have nearly as much of a social if we'd been in adjacent swims. Certainly. So yeah, it's nice to have a catch up, nice to catch a tench. And uh, wonderful to do a PB carp, although modest PB, but I don't do a lot of carp fishing, you'll know if you follow the channel. So uh, yeah, and to get a 20 as well, absolutely wonderful. And, uh, and video number 400, absolutely fantastic. Really, really pleased with that. Now, I shall be out again in the near future, possibly on the canals, possibly on other still waters. I'm certainly going to come back here. Me and James are already talking about having another session in a few weeks time, perhaps after some tench, maybe over on Manor or perhaps back on here because this is a lovely lake. This tar farm complex, it's, it's a new, new complex and it seems a lot quieter than the main sort of Bray's noses and Manor and Oxleys. It's, it's a lot calmer here. It's a lot quieter and, uh, yeah, pleasantly surprised, I have to say. Anyway, I'm waffling. So yes, time to go home. So all there is left to do. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.